Exodus tutorial for beginners, trade cryptocurrency. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with trading cryptocurrency using the Exodus application. So Exodus is a tool which is not only available as a web wallet, but it's also available as a desktop integration and a mobile application. So you can use your crypto anywhere you go. Exodus is an application which allows you to manage your cryptocurrency and Exodus has a Trezor partnership where Trezor hardware wallets are now working with Exodus, providing you with advanced security made easy. They have over 50 networks supported with millions of assets, the ability to send and receive digital assets, built-in swapping, it has 24-7 support, private, and it's crafted for the user. Now, the best part about using Exodus is they have their Web3 wallet, which is their simple web wallet for Chrome and Brave. They have a mobile wallet, which allows you to control your wealth from anywhere using your mobile devices. And they also have a separate wallet for desktop users where they can download the Exodus wallet for their Mac, for their Windows or Linux devices. All three are supported. Then after that, you also have a Ledger hardware wallet. Hardware wallets are considered one of the safest ways to keep your cryptocurrency. Then you also have their Trezor hardware wallet as well as earning crypto rewards via staking. So first off, I'm going to show you guys how to use the Web3 wallet. So first off, I'm going to show you guys is how to use the web3 wallet so we're gonna go into product and we're gonna click on web3 wallet and you're going to click on install for chrome now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to switch on over into a full view so you guys can actually see the wallet integration on the web so this is what the chrome web store is going to look like and from here you can proceed by clicking on add to chrome once you click on add to chrome you can click on add extension and once you click on add extension over here, you can proceed. Now, once you've added the extension, it may take a little bit of time. You guys can see on the top right, my extension is being downloaded currently. And once your extension is downloaded, a new tab is going to pop up. In this brand new tab, you're going to specify if you already have a wallet or if you want to create a new wallet. So if you're using the Exodus wallet for the first time, you obviously will need to create your own brand new wallet. So for that, you are just going to click on create new wallet and you're going to create a brand new password. So we're going to do that. And once I do that, I am I'm going to redo my password because I don't remember what I typed in. <laughs> And we're just going to do that and then click on next and then click on get started. Keep in mind that you cannot recover your password if you forget it. There is absolutely no method for password recovery. And that is what makes these crypto wallets so safe is there is no other option. So there's no way that you can, you know, get your wallet recovered. From there, you can connect to any Web3 application, even if you select MetaMask or Phantom, and you can just click on continue. You guys can see this is your Exodus wallet application. So I'm going to close this out and I'm going to open this up from here like this. Once I do that, this is what my Exodus wallet is like. You can open this up in a brand new window. I'm going to open this up on top so you guys can better see the entire wallet interface. This is what the wallet interface is going to look like. On the bottom, you can click on your portfolio to be able to view your portfolio and view your crypto within your wallet. Now, below that, you have the valuation where you can send and receive crypto. Then after that, uh, you have the swapping options. Then you have different locations and then your general exodus. So in this, first off, you can change your name and you can get an NFT to use as your profile picture. I'm going to name myself Lily here and we're going to click on receive NFT. You can receive your own NFT with your Solana address. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go with Lily. Then from here, we are going to go into our general wallet. When you go into your wallet, you will have your own wallet address. But before you actually use your wallet address, I always recommend setting up 
your wallet backup or your wallet security code so you can click on backup your wallet and you want to ensure you are always in control so you want to back up this particular phrase that you will receive you will receive a 12 word phrase and you need to understand that this is going to be a really significantly important phrase it's ideal to write this down on a piece of paper and after you have it written down on a piece of paper you can just save it somewhere so for this we're just going to type in our password and then view our security phrase Keep in mind that don't take it as a screenshot, email, or text file because if you save your 12-word security phrase as a screenshot or email, people can clearly identify, okay, this person has saved these 12 random words. This is probably their uh, crypto wallet address. So people will be able to trace it down. Do so you want to reveal your secret phrase? I am revealing my secret phrase to you guys because this is just a sample account. This is not my actual account on Exodus. So you guys can see this and you do have to verify that you saved this. A lot of people, when they're first starting out with their crypto journey, they don't realize the significance of these wallets. So they just continue on onto the next step without actually saving this. So you want to make sure to save this. Ideally, you can remember it, but remembering again can have issues. If you ever forget it, then you can't recover your wallet. So for that purpose, I recommend writing it down, not writing in your notes on your digital devices. No, with a pen and a piece of paper, <laughs> then click on next. And which word is your 12 word secret recovery phrase? So which one of these words did I have. I have the word off and I'm going to click on done. After that, you're going to back up your phrase. What was it wrong? I don't know. I think I typed in the wrong word. I'm going to click on view secret recovery phrase. And yeah, this is my recovery phrase. I think I remember it now. I can click on next. Which word is in your 12 word recovery phrase? Horse trigger calm panel. So I'm just going to do that. Horse trigger, uh, trigger, calm panel. Yeah, I think trigger. And just like that, we have backed this up. Now from here, you can proceed on to our next step, which is going to be to fund our wallet. For that, you're going to click on the wallet icon on the bottom. And once you do click on the wallet icon on the bottom, you are going to click on the top where it says portfolio and select your network because if you are receiving your crypto tokens from somewhere then it's probably already on a specific or a predetermined network so usually it might be ethereum mainnet it might be solana it might be polygon bnb smart chain whichever network it is on you have to select that particular network so for that you're just going to select your network then you're going to click on receive once you click on receive you're going to receive the asset so what asset are are you going looking to receive we can click on ethereum and then we will get a ethereum wallet address when you get a specific address this is going to be a address that is designed specifically for you and for your wallet now once you have this address you're going to copy this and put it in your exchange for example, if I go on to Binance, okay, and I want to transfer my Binance funds onto my Exodus wallet, I would have to go into my wallets here, click on my spot wallet, click on withdraw. Once I do that, I can select the coin I want to withdraw, it's Ethereum, and then I would add, enter my address, and this is the place where you enter the address. Make sure to copy it as it is. So from here, you're just going to enter the address and then you're going to select your network and then you're going to choose the withdrawal amount that you want to withdraw. And like so, you can withdraw that amount. And after that, you can click on withdraw and you would receive that in your Exodus wallet. Now you can receive any crypto token in the same way. You can receive this from any crypto platform. This really does not matter as long as you are selecting the correct network and the correct chain. But beware, this is uh, again, a beginner mistake that beginners, uh, you know, when you're, when you're being very quick and careless, it can happen. That is, they select the wrong network and the wrong token. They get an address, but that address does not belong to them or they copy and paste 
the incorrect address and that can transfer your funds to some random person's account which is going to be detrimental to you because you're not going to have your crypto so do ensure that you are sending crypto to the correct account which is your account and make sure to copy and paste it properly now this is just the basics of the exodus wallet after that you also have your nfts you can click on receive nfts and scan this to receive your nft as well and then if you go back you can explore all the different tools so this is just the basic app version or the web version if you want to use a better version or a more updated version of this you can download the exodus wallet application on your phone as well as on your desktop device so if you have a mac if you have a windows whatever device you have you can download it over there and proceed so you can click on exodus over here once you click on exodus you can uh, i have downloaded this but if you have not you can go into download for exodus for mac or for windows and just download it once you download it you're going to install the application the installation process is pretty simple and quick so you're not going to have to wait too long for the application to be fully functional once you've done that this is what your application is going to look like so on the top right you have your settings where you can manage all of your assets. Then you're going to have your devices where you can sync wallets and access multiple funds on multiple devices. And you can also install the Trezor Bridge, which allows communication between your Trezor device and supported applications like Exodus. Then you have personalization where you can set your own currency, portfolio, turn on advanced wallet mode, auto update, share, and your privacy and data. Then you have security as well as backup. Now in your security, Exodus can lock after a specified duration to ensure no one else accesses your wallet. Especially if you are on a device where you're not sure if uh, other people are using it or if you do feel like other people might be accessing your device when you are not around, then it is really important to turn on these safety mechanisms to ensure that your wallet stays secure. Then you are going to go back on the top left and once you go back, you can go back into the Exodus dashboard. Now here you have your basic portfolio and you can click on receive crypto to make your first crypto deposit like so as we previously received our wallet address. But not only that, you can go into buy crypto where you can pay in USD, euros or pounds with your bank account apple pay credit card or debit card this allows you to have a instant solution to purchasing crypto you can click on check prices over here and then click on continue currently this feature is not available in my specified location but in your location it may be available so you can choose to purchase crypto like so and if you already have a wallet, you can import your wallet over here. Then below that, you have a overview of crypto assets, the price action, and your own portfolio. And within that, you can see the prices, the 24-hour change, the 30-day trend, your own personal balance, value, and portfolio percentage. So this gives you a general analysis and just a generalized way of keeping track of all of the cryptocurrency developments and the price fluctuations. Next up in your wallet, you can see all the basic tokens on top. Then you have your swap option. So you can click on over here and I'm just going to skip this onboarding for swapping. I'm going to agree to their terms and this is what it looks like. So within the full application of the Exodus wallet, you can proceed with swapping your crypto tokens. Now, some people do swap crypto tokens within wallets. There are certain downsides such as just not a better conversion rate. Usually if you are doing P2P or if you're doing exchange or spot trades, you can usually get a better price. But if you want to, you know, prioritize convenience, which again is going to be better if you are someone that is not looking to trade, if you're only looking to invest and just grow, then you can keep on ahead and enter your crypto tokens. If you want to exchange any tokens, you can exchange them directly from your wallet. 
This makes it really easy for users that are not looking to play around with their crypto too much and they just want a really convenient tool which can do all of the basics for them. And you are going to be able to honestly diversify your portfolio within your wallet without having to sign up for an exchange, complete exchange verifications, having to pay gas fees and exchange platform fees. So, you know, for smaller conversions and for people that are not looking to, you know, make small short term profits and are more so using their wallets as an investment strategy tool and looking to diversify, then using the Exodus exchange, uh, the Exodus wallet as your exchange or swapping tool can actually be a pretty decent strategy. It's not something that I recommend against for people that are looking for long-term strategies. So just select the two tokens. Let's say you have Dogecoin and you want to change that for Ghostcoin. You enter the amount of Dodge you want to swap. You will get a conversion price. So let's say I want to change 300 Dogecoins, which is worth around $54. And I want the Ghostcoin. So I would receive 93.620 Ghostcoin which is worth $49. Now you might say, hey, isn't 54 more than 49? Well, yes, it is, but you are going to be paying gas fees and conversion fees to the Exodus platform. So you do have to take that account into account. You also have minimum, half, and maximum as tools for conversion. Now, heading on back into the basic wallet, if you are looking to swap any token from your wallet, you can just view your token over here and you will see all the different options to send receive and swap and if you could directly go into swap on the top you will be able to directly view the swapping tool then from here we have the buying and selling tool again which is not available in our location so it's not going to be available even within the application after that you also have rewards now this is what is really important to understand if you're someone that is looking to hold their crypto long term, so you have no intentions of selling within the next month and you want to just receive and keep your crypto and you are wanting to multiply it, then using crypto staking is going to be pretty great for you because crypto staking is going to allow you to earn money on your crypto assets without having to gamble or trade them often at all. What this does is that you can provide liquidity to the pool and in return you will get a APR or a return on your investment. This allows the exchanges to provide liquidity and it allows people that are holding their crypto to have that crypto make money for them. In the meanwhile, you can go on ahead and simply click on start earning. You will see the APY and the all time earnings that you have. Different earnings might not be available at certain times and certain earnings might not be available in certain locations. Currently, you guys can see Solana, Polygon, Cosmos, Cardano is are the four that are available and I have six that are unavailable. Sometimes they are also unavailable simply because if you are opting for uh, investing in Tezos, maybe the entire liquidity pool is already booked. So that is why sometimes they are not available. Then after that, you can choose the deposit amount. If you click on start earning, you have two types. You have a type of staking which has a flexible period and one that has a fixed one. This has an APY of 6.7 with a four day staking period, which is a locked period. Then if I look at Cardano, you guys can see it has 20 plus five days of a staking period. And if I look at Polygon again, this has an approximate four days. Honestly, even if you go for a flexible one, four days is probably the quickest you can get back your tokens. Keep in mind that the principal amount of your token is protected, but if the token drops in value, there's nothing you can do to basically rebate that value. Then you have your NFT gallery where you can uh, view your nft address and receive your own nfts over here as well so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with the exodus wallet now if you are someone that is on the go and that wants to use the exodus wallet and you want to do it directly on your phone then you can do that on your phone as well simply by downloading the exodus application and you can sign up on your wallet you can keep your crypto on your wallet and you can use any android or ios device to do so i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe 
and I will catch you guys in the next video.